all right y'all so another vlog style intro um i just wanted to show y'all since this is going to be a body care video this is the new reformulated a thousand wishes as well as the into the night um i'm not sure what exactly they changed outside of the price so if y'all know what they did to reformulate it let me know um here are just some of the new single wicks um and there is my beloved leaves and white pumpkin right next to each other i am going to wait on a single wick sale to pick up those um here are some more white barn candles which those were 75 percent off yesterday so i don't know what may have changed they may have just fixed the signage um but of course here are these as well i already showed you guys these yesterday so just showing you guys um not much has really changed on this display but i did realize that i skipped over one of the test candles um which you guys will see shortly and i did re-smell the pumpkin cinnamon bun um, and i just skipped over it so here is the candle that i totally missed yesterday the autumn chai so i did pick that up um, and then here is the 75 percent off table that i saw yesterday so they have re-signed it um, to reflect that it is 50 percent off and not 75 percent off so again i told y'all i did get lucky um, but this white barn collection is still 75 percent off in my store y'all so we're gonna talk about it because y'all know I, I double dipped I double dipped because as y'all can see right here my beloved peppered plum she was fully stocked girl I left a few yesterday because I wanted to share but girl so this one here the smoked vanilla whiskey I skipped this one I kept smelling it y'all and trying to give it a chance but it just was not for me it was just very very smoky and heavy um here are some really good 75 percent off little wallflower scents that I had not seen sunwash citrus is actually a really great wallflower scent that I have always loved so great find there mahogany coconut um and then here's a 75 percent off table of body care y'all <laughs> look y'all know she went in the bag okay so i got that and then uh this was not there yesterday either the wildberry lemonade i picked that up because i did not see that yesterday and of course just the same stuff that was here yesterday strawberry pound cake you're the one in the stars all that good stuff um and then of course here is the new fall body care which we are going to talk about today girl so here is champagne apple honey um definitely one of my favorite fall scents and then of course you see the blueberry sugar pancakes and marshmallow pumpkin latte which we got to talk about girl because I left her at the store I left her at the store girl so we're gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about it but um yeah just me giving you guys a little tiny tour of my store so here's some aromatherapy scents some new newly formulated um hand soaps which you know maybe I'll try once we get a hand soap sale I'm not sure but um and then of course we have the sun wash citrus pink berry clouds and the denim and daisies which denim and daisies wasn't really for me it was a little bit too like fresh and floral but yeah and then lastly y'all thank y'all so much for your love on my last video i genuinely 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 appreciate it please check out my thoughts my initial thoughts on the first round of the test candles um i did pretty much review all of them except for autumn chai which we're going to talk about in this video even though it's a body care video but I didn't want to do too many separates because I am going to actually do my candle reviews of these separately, which speaking of candle reviews, I also will be doing or posting a review of the hometown sugar cookies, um, hopefully between today and tomorrow, depending on how much editing I can get done today, um, because I do have to get ready for a date night with my best friend tomorrow. So tomorrow I will be kind of busy, but we will see how much I get done. But anyway y'all without further ado let's get into it let's see what i got today girl what is up y'all what is up what is up what is up i'm back i'm back i'm back okay so look i know y'all see the sas bag in the front um this isn't really an sas haul but this was supposed to be a fall body care haul and some essay stuff got thrown in just like how my video yesterday some essay essay stuff got thrown in so we're going to talk about it it's not going to be as long and in depth as yesterday um because i do want this one to be hopefully around 30 minutes so we'll see but yeah if y'all watched the beginning y'all kind of saw what i saw in my store today y'all probably already know what i did what i picked up so let's just jump right into it okay my store gave me an sas bag y'all so sas is over but like i keep telling y'all oh my god i almost dropped my laptop y'all like i keep telling y'all 
you should still be able to find like SAS stuff like left over in your store. Um, at least the mall stores that I've gone to y'all, like they still have leftover SAS stuff. It should be like a little stand in the front of the store towards the middle of the store, depending on if you have a white barn, it might be on the white barn side. Like just, just check all around because um, my store that I went to today had one in the white barn side for like candles. And then they had a one in the Bath and Body Works side for like body care. So also y'all, yeah, I'm doing a very basic look today. I'm, I'm like tired. I'm not, I'm deep conditioning my hair. Like I'm just, I'm just trying to get the video up basically. So yeah, we went real minimal today, but um, I've got my tried and true Fenty on. This is Fenty Glow. If it's not Fenty Glow, it's usually fussy. It's one of the two girl, but um, okay. So, we're gonna do the small little bag first, okay? So if y'all watched from my video, you will see I did find a table of 75% off stuff, which this is what this receipt is. So I picked up a Wild Berry Lemonade, um, which is another soap that was in the Paint Strokes collection or Brush Strokes. Um, the notes are Old Fashioned Lemonade, Crushed Raspberries and Frozen Cherries. I didn't even smell this in the store, y'all. I literally just picked it up. So let's see. Ooh. That does smell really good. It's like a very sugary, sweet, like raspberry lemonade, like fresh raspberry lemonade, like super, 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 like syrupy sweet. That smells really good. I like that a lot. Okay, y'all. And then the next thing I got, um, I did pick up a bunch of wallflowers. So I got mahogany coconut, which the notes in here are creamy coconut mahogany woods and english lavender so y'all these were ringing up full price but they were on the 75 percent off table so i don't know y'all this particular store that i went to i don't want to bash them because i love all of my essays there i love my store manager there but they're just having some pricing issues because when i went in there today the stuff that was 75 percent off yesterday was ringing up either full price or half off so they fixed that they changed the signage and like some of that stuff was correctly marked today but then today when I went to check out some of the stuff that was 75% off, like these were ringing up for the five for 22 or whatever the wallflower deal is, these were ringing up as that and not 75% off. So my sales associate had to override. Um, and then I picked up the red, white, and blue cake, um, which I talked about the candle of this yesterday. So I'm not really going to go into depth. And then I got a sun wash citrus. Um, I'm pretty sure I got like two of each of these or something like that. Okay, I got one red, white, and blue cake and I got uh one more mahogany coconut and just like two more sunwa citrus because sunwa citrus is actually one of my favorite wallflower scents like it's just a really we're, we're gonna talk about sunwa sun citrus later girl but yeah just not pick that up okay, y'all so this <laughs> the mint chocolate swirl was kind of a shocking sas find for me i've already sprayed it because i we got to talk about it we got to talk about it okay so this was 75% off, you already saw in the video, I threw it right in the bag. I honestly should have gotten the other one that was over there. I did not smell this one at the store. I was like, I'm gonna just smell it in the car and we'll see how I, you know, I was expecting it to just be, you know, whatever. I normally don't like like mint chocolate body care scents. Um, and listen, as soon as I smelled this y'all, 100% repackage of one of my all time favorites. I know it looks dusty and crusty and nasty y'all, but listen, I do have a hand soap of it um, because I found this, I think during SAS last year and I was like very happy, but listen, when I tell y'all, I wore coconut mint drop down, okay? When this packaging released, like this is, I think this is when the scent was first introduced. It had a body butter, it had a body scrub, it had a fine fragrance mist, it had a shimmer mist, it had a body cream, body lotion, it had a whole collection, girl. It was in that same collection as like, Winter Candy Apple and Vanilla Bean Noel, they all had like really giant, I'm gonna put a picture over here, um, but they had, all had really big like giant uh, body butter, uh, body butter tubs. Y'all, when I tell y'all that SAS, I stocked up because it went 75% off because it was discontinued. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I was wearing coconut mint drop through the summer, through the winter, through the fall, through the spring. Like this was my go-to, like this literally became my signature scent at work because I was wearing it every single freaking day. This literally, and this is coming from somebody that normally doesn't like mint scents. This is literally just the perfect, like creamy, 
peppermint scent where it's got that same vibe as like twisted peppermint but like the mint in there and the coconut it's just like a perfect sweet coconut like i just can't even describe it y'all it smells so so freaking good and one of my subscribers like one of my loyal loyal subscribers pumpkin spice girl she commented when i posted this in my story and she immediately asked me she was like girl is it a repackage of uh, Christmas cocoa mint and coconut mint drop. I didn't even think about Christmas cocoa mint because as soon as I smelled this, I said, girl, this is immediately a repackage of coconut mint drop. I heard apparently this was like a Canadian exclusive or something. Like, I don't know how it ended up here, y'all, but I was so sad. I wish this came in a body cream, but I'm hoping that coconut mint drop is re-released because I missed the last repackage of it so it went this packaging first and then i think it did maybe like one or two repackages after that which i missed those um and i literally had to declutter all of the body creams and body butters out of my collection because they turned so bad like every single body care that i had left a coconut mint drop i had to declutter except for this so i've just been holding on to it and i really need to get rid of it girl but i'm just this was y'all this is just so nostalgic for me at this point because this was my girl for so long so i was so happy to find this because this is literally exactly a repackage to my nose y'all and this is coming from someone who wore coconut mint drop every single day like it's the same girl it's the same oh i'm so excited i'm so happy so yeah so but in comparison to christmas cocoa and mint y'all um if you do still have christmas cocoa and mint christmas cocoa and mint has way more of that like chocolate cocoa note i actually ended up not even really liking this after i got it and i still have like two body creams and two fine fragrance mists just in my collection um this just has more of that like york peppermint patty mint smell that i don't like at least not in body care yeah it's just like heavy heavy chocolate heavy mint it's still sweet and creamy it's just i don't know i don't like york peppermint patties so <laughs> i think that's why i just can't really get with this i don't even know why i still have it in my collection honestly but it's still here girl but this is 100 percent a repackage of coconut mint drop y'all so if you see this and you like coconut mint drop and you are waiting for her to come back girl pick it up pick it up pick it up like i promise y'all it's literally it's identical okay it's identical girl okay y'all so I did pick up a few more 75% off candles because if y'all saw from that video, I told y'all in the video from yesterday, which if you have not seen my video yesterday where I'm talking about the test candles, sis, what are you doing? I'm going to go ahead and put a picture over here just in case y'all missed it. I'll link it down below. Um, but y'all will see. I only picked up two peppered plum because I was like, oh, it's only five over here. And, you know, I didn't see this when it first dropped. So maybe these were like some randoms, but I'm going to leave these other three for whoever else comes in here. Girl, I went in there today. The whole table had peppermint plum on both sides. So I was like, oh, it's safe for me to get a few more. So that's what we did. So um, I picked up one more peppermint plum. What's this? I picked up two more peppermint plum, peppermint plum, <laughs> two more pepper plum. What's this? Oh, a third peppermint plum, girl. What else I got? Oh, a fourth peppermint plum. Oh Lord. Why do I keep saying peppermint plum, y'all? I keep thinking of coconut mint drop and peppermint, sorry. Um, okay, this one actually was not pepper plum. So I think that actually completes what I have for pepper plum. So from what I picked up today and what I got yesterday, I have six peppered plums. I'll let y'all know how much I love it. That is just a perfect, perfect fall scent, perfect winter scent, perfect. I mean, you could burn in the summer too, but that's just my mood. So, and then I did pick up another vanilla and oak wood. I actually burned one in my bathroom yesterday. I really liked it. So I was like, I'll grab another one. So I told y'all in my video yesterday, I did compare that to, um, YSL Libre Intense Perfume. Um, it's in the same vibes. It's not like an exact dupe for that smell. Like it's not YSL Libre exactly intense, but it's got the same type of vanilla, sweet, lavender, like sensual type of vibe. Um, and then I picked up another one of these, which I've hauled one of these before in an SAS haul from this summer. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this scent, definitely check out my previous SAS hauls, but this was 75% off. So I picked up another one, girl. Okay, y'all, so 
let's get to what we really want to talk about, which is the fall body care. So this bag is all fall body care. Well, except for this. Okay, hold on. We got to talk about this first. So I missed Autumn Chai yesterday in my tester candle haul. I don't know how. I think my store only had like five and it was like off to the sides. So I really couldn't see it. So I kind of missed over it. Like I saw it, but then I got distracted by the 75% off candle. So I forgot to put it in my basket. But this is another scent that is testing, I believe. So uh, the notes on Autumn Chai are cinnamon chai, French vanilla froth, and smooth caramel. And look at the little fox. He's so cute. The packaging, I love a gold foil packaging, honey. Okay. But anyways, so I'm very happy to report, y'all, that this does smell like a very authentic, like, if you were to go to Starbucks right now and ask for a chai latte and add caramel or get like a caramel macchiato and add like chai syrup, that's what this smells like to me. It literally just smells like a very, very sweet, decadent, rich chai with like the caramel drizzle on top. Like that's what it smells like to me. Yeah, I'm very happy to report like I get the milkiness, I get the chai, I get the caramel. I even get like a slight like apple-y undertone. Um, I don't know if y'all have ever had this drink from Starbucks. I forgot what it's called, but I think it's called Caramel Apple Spice. It's like this apple juice, caramel, like hot cider drink you can get from Starbucks. If you have ever, ever had that, it smells like that. But if you were to add like chai syrup to it. I know sometimes chai can come across really bitter, but in this candle, it smells really, really good. Um, on cold, it does smell like it's, you know, a medium high, like a medium high type of throw type of scent. It's not a heavy hitter or anything, but... I definitely feel like this could potentially fill up a small to medium sized room. So I don't know, girl, we'll see. Um, but also stay tuned for my hometown sugar cookies review, girl, because that's what's coming first out of all of these. And we have some things to talk about with that. OK, so anyways, y'all, let's get into the body care. Let's get into the body care. OK, girl. So first thing we're going to talk about is blueberry sugar so um blueberry sugar pancakes excuse me so this is not blueberry sugar which is another scent. oh my god y'all there is a huge bug on my freaking it's on the outside y'all i want to show y'all so bad but i don't want to like this bug is so Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I just got distracted. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah. So I did get the full collection of the blueberry sugar pancakes. Um, so body cream and the fine fragrance mist. Um, if y'all, you know, are into blueberry maple pancakes, um, this scent is definitely right up your alley. The notes are sugar blueberries, fresh pancakes, caramel, cream drizzle. So y'all, this is the only... Uh, this is the only shower gel I got. And honestly, y'all, the shower gels from Bath & Body Works have not been agreeing with my skin lately. So I may or may not keep this. I'm not sure. But um, I kind of knew that before SAS and I kind of took a break from Bath & Body Works shower gels. And I was like, let me try again. And they, they just have not been agreeing with my skin, y'all. So they've just been making me a little itchy. So I may or may not keep them. I don't know. I may swap them out. We'll see what I do. Gift them, whatever. But I did pick this up just because I felt like I liked the scent the most in the shower gel, which is normally, as I, normally I prefer the shower gel scent over the rest of them. I feel like this, you really just get, it smells more like blueberry sugar than it does blueberry maple pancakes if that makes sense like blue like i know blueberry sugar has come out a few times in um both a candle i'll put a picture here as well as body care but i feel like this has more of that like candied blueberry scent and then like especially in the shower gel and um in the fine fragrance mist in the dry down you get a little bit more of like that caramelly like maple like it just starts off very, very fruity, like a candied blueberry. And then when it dries down, it turns more into like that maple-y, like syrupy type of scent. Um, I don't get a whole lot of like pancakes. I really just get like that fruity, like tart, candied kind of blueberry scent. 
yeah and the body cream is more of like a fresh blueberry so i don't know y'all all of the versions of it differ slightly in scent i would say the body cream smells more like blueberry maple pancakes where it's like that fresh blueberry scent and then the shower gel and the frying fragrance mist to me have more of like that candied like tart blueberry scent but they all smell really really good i may or may not be keeping the shower gel just because of my skin unfortunately um not agreeing with it but overall y'all i was happy with this one so now i will say fall body care overall overall y'all i'm slightly over i'm slightly underwhelmed so far um i'm a little underwhelmed with the selection for fall body care because i just feel like a lot of it is still kind of summery in my opinion from what i've seen um especially the pinkberry clouds collection with um with uh sun wash citru citrus and denim and daisies i feel like those are just very like summery type of scents so i don't know if y'all feel the same way let me know in the comments below how do y'all feel about fall body care overall this year but i'm definitely a little um underwhelmed by it so okay y'all and then speaking of that same collection so i did pick up um a champagne apple and honey um if y'all can recall i'll try to include a screenshot over here but i did recently haul this um from sas this year because i found a body cream from a previous year for 75 percent off so i did pick that up but i was like let me go ahead and get the new version so because i do not have a fragrance mist anymore but the notes in this are crisp apple sparkling champagne jasmine honey and autumn woods so as y'all i have told y'all before i just love champagne apple and honey um overall for the fall i do feel like it's a great transitional scent from summer to fall because that apple that like fresh apple scent is like that fruitiness that you would wear in the summer but it also has like that drizzled like honey caramelly type of scent that you would imagine in a fall body care it's just so good y'all it's just a decadent like a candied apple that you would get from like the fair or something like if you were to go to the state fair and get a candied apple yeah it just smells a lot more like a candied apple this year to me um at least the fine fragrance mist does and as far as the body cream we're gonna put it on this hand girl and see what we get yeah the body cream and the fine fragrance mist in this one both smell pretty similar it's just like, I think the body cream has more of like that like fresh apple that um, farm stand apple has. I think that's what it's called, farm stand apple, which was like a retired scent. But um, yeah, the body cream, it just has more of that fresh apple scent to it. Whereas the fine fragrance mist, I feel like has more of like that candied red apple scent, but it's still really, really good really refreshing really bright um and it's just a perfect transitional scent to me so that's one that i usually always pick up now y'all before we switch over to the other collection let's talk about marshmallow pumpkin latte okay so i tried it in the store i tried it in the body cream i tried the fine fragrance mist i tried the body lotion it wasn't given for me y'all i don't know what's been going on with marshmallow pumpkin latte but like the past few years i just feel like it's just getting more faint and faint and faint and less gourmand and just blah and this year it was no different like i put it on the back of my hand and when i tell you i walked around the store not even for 30 seconds i couldn't smell anything um i couldn't smell that normal like marshmallow fluffiness i couldn't smell that creamy like you know like coffee not coffee note but like that creamy milky type of scent that i used to be able to smell in it it was like this year it almost had like a weird like fruitiness to it and then it dried down into just kind of like this blah kind of musk scent so i don't know y'all if y'all have the same experience with it please let me know because i really was like am i tripping is this the wrong scent like what's going on but it just the scent was blah for me um and it's not the same marshmallow pumpkin latte like when marshmallow pumpkin latte was like 
first brand new like it's just not giving that anymore and on top of that it just does not last whatever the scent that it was because it wasn't marshmallow pumpkin latte to me but whatever the scent that it was it also was not long lasting at all so i left her at the store girl because i just wasn't fooling with it i wasn't fooling with it but um i did you know take the other two so yeah mm. i'm smelling champagne apple and honey y'all okay all right, y'all. So on to this one. So I did pick up the Sunwash Citrus. I did just tell y'all I really do like this in the Wallflower and in candles. Um, I was very interested and surprised to see it in body care this year in this packaging. Like I told y'all, I do feel like this packaging is super, super summery and the same for the other two. But I mean, you know, whatever. The notes in the body care are sugared lemons, mandarin, and agave nectar. So y'all, I'll put it right here. I actually surprisingly really, really like this. I kind of told y'all lemon scents have kind of had me like just by the, by the throat lately. Like girl, they just been, you know, they've just been what I reach for, what I gravitate towards. I would definitely wear this more so now in the summer than I would in the fall. It just has like very similar vibes to like limoncello which is obviously retired now um yeah i get like the mandarin i get like that lemony zingy bright zesty note and then like that sweetness from the agave so i do really really like this um i did find the fine fragrance mist to be a little like too astringent to me like i don't know it almost had like a lemon cleaner scent in the fine fragrance mist so i don't know i may try to smell it again maybe my nose was just tired of smelling stuff but i did only pick up the body cream and i really like the body cream it's just like a nice balance of like almost like a almost like a lemonade type of smell where it's like slightly sweet slightly tart slightly like I don't want to say bitter but like it just has that like bright zinginess so I think that's actually coming more so from the mandarin because it's like a sweet type of orangey type of smell but it's really good to me y'all I really like it a lot, a lot so I'm interested to use this and layer it with some scents and see how I like it so yeah Okay, y'all, moving on. Moving on to Miss Pinkberry Clouds. So I have never smelled this from years prior. So this was my first time smelling Pinkberry Clouds because I think when it first released, it was released during a time that I was not shopping um, at Bath & Body Works and when I took one of my little breaks. So the notes are strawberry sponge sugar, marshmallow fluff, and fresh air. Um, I have been seeing that this has been being compared to like cotton candy clouds and like the likes of those types of scents. Um, I don't really know how they compare because like I said, this is my first time actually trying Pinkberry Clouds. So we're going to see. We're going to see how I like it. Yeah. Mm. What does this remind me of, y'all? It definitely reminds me of something that is already out at Bath & Body Works. It might be Cotton Candy Clouds. It might be something else that has been out recently, y'all. I don't know. Y'all let me know what this is a repackage of, but I really like it. I really like it, y'all. It is like a... It is like a sugary, like cotton candy sweet type of scent where it's like you have some candied like strawberries in there and then there's like an underlying musk type of scent um i guess that's supposed to be the fresh air but i definitely smell it it's just something that like elevates it from being like a super sugary sweet scent to like a sweet like almost like warm and inviting type of scent like it almost smells like there would be like amber or something in here like if you layer this with something that has amber in it like that i feel like that would completely transform this but i do really really like this y'all i'm interested to use it see how it layers with things but i definitely get like that fruitiness like that, that fruity opening that fruity like sweet you know like cotton candy-ish type of opening um where it's a little bit tart 
And then that underlying, the fresh air, I guess is what it is, but it smells like a musk or like a amber type of undertone to me. But I do really, really like this. And I am excited to layer her and see how it does with some of my perfumes, honey, okay? All right, y'all. Last but not least, y'all probably would not, y'all probably would not have expected me to pick this up, but I picked it up, girl, because I saw the note and anything that has a pear note in it, I'm like, I need to at least try it once, girl, and see how I feel about it. So this is Miss Poppy, honey. This is Miss Poppy. So I picked up the Fine Fragrance Mist as well as the Ultimate Hydration Cream. Um, Poppy is a little bit of a price jump, y'all, from all of our other ones in the signature line. So I don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing with Bath & Body Works. It probably is going to be, but... Um, I picked it up girl because i actually do love the packaging it's really pretty um and i don't know i feel like poppy is another one of those uh florals that can kind of be a little sweet kind of like peony is and um i read the notes and i was like here let's just take it home let's try it so the notes in poppy are fresh morning dew wild poppies sugared rhubarb and juicy pear so y'all anything that says juicy pear i'm like ooh, because i love a pear scent okay So let's spray it, girl. Let's spray it so I can get the intense version. I know I have a lot going on, but I feel like sometimes with florals, I gotta like spray it a lot so I can see what's going on. Okay. So right now it definitely just smells like a burst of like fresh pear. Yeah, it's giving me very fruity, like, pear right now. Let me put the body cream on my hands, y'all. I know I have a lot on my hands right now, but I'm just trying to smell it because... Okay, y'all, when I tell y'all I had to, like, douse myself in Poppy to, like, figure out what I was smelling, I mean... It smells good. Um, I feel like I want to try it in the perfume. I feel like I want to try the perfume because right now, the Fine Fragrance Mist, it's just a very like light, um, it just opens up with that bright, juicy pear. It's more of like that fresh pear, like not like that sweet, like caramelly, baked pear that we saw in uh pear creme brulee it's like a fresh like a fresh picked pear with like some outdoorsy vibes i can't really say what the florals are giving me right now like i don't know there's nothing really off-putting about it for me but there's also nothing that's like standing out and wowing me. If you love pear scents, you would definitely like this, which I love a pear scent. And girl, look, she matches. Okay, but um, yeah, y'all, I don't know. This has been really, really popular. Like, and everyone seems to be loving this. I'm not gonna say I hate it. It's not wowing me at the moment. Like, I do wanna smell it in the perfume and see if I can like smell anything else or smell any more layers, but Right now, it just smells like a sweet, juicy pear. I'm not mad at it. I mean, like, I, I, I would not say that this is a floral scent at all, at least to my nose. Like, it's mostly just giving me pear. Yeah, it's giving me a fresh, sweet, juicy, ripe, just picked pear. Like a Bartlett pear, like whatever the sweeter pear. I'm pretty sure it's Bartlett pears. Like, that's what this smells like to me. Um, I am really not detecting any florals at all. Yeah, it's really hard for me to detect any other layers in this. It just smells like if you were walking outside and you went to a tree to pick a pear and you took a bit a bite out of it. Like, that's what it smells. So, so yeah, y'all. I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about Poppy. I do want to try it and smell it in the perfume um, and see how I feel about it. But as of right now, I don't hate it. 
I'm not like, oh my God, this is amazing. So I'm gonna keep on using it and see what I can do and layer and see how I feel about it and just give y'all an update. But that's all I have for body care, y'all. Stay tuned for my review of Hometown Sugar Cookies. I'm gonna try to have that up on the same day. If it's not up today, I'll have it up tomorrow. And y'all just stay tuned for my thoughts on the remaining candles in that collection but i appreciate y'all so much thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all and keep sharing keep commenting keep liking and most of all y'all subscribe i have so many viewers that are new that have not subscribed that keep watching my videos so y'all just subscribe just subscribe it's it's easy i promise bye